Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a lidded box using the Bloom and Grow stamp set to decorate, which is just beautiful. And I love it. It does come as a bundle with dies. I've chosen not to use the dies on this project, but I've also um, set the project, set the lid so that it fits deliberately this one here. So the flowers inside are actually bigger than it shows on the outside. So that one, actually that one would fit as well. So would, yeah, they would all fit on here. Should I just double check that? Yeah, they would all fit. So if you don't want to use that one that I've used, go for it. Choose another one. But yeah, I've built the project to fit the stamp set. Tell me I'm not the only person who does that. I love this one though, so that's what we're using. And I wanted to do some blends work. I haven't done blends work for a while, but I also wanted to show you how it worked on Thick Wisp White. So first off, let's make the base of the box. You need a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by six inches, 21 by 15 centimeters. And we're going to score it at two inches on all four sides, which is five centimeters on all four sides. This is magenta madness. I decided to go bright. I went seaside spray on my first project. Lovely and muted and just gentle. We're going other end of the spectrum with bright, practically neon pink. So yeah, two inches on all four sides. The lid, and this is thick whisper white, six and a half by four inches, 16 by 10 centimeters. And we're going to do it one inch on all four sides, but you need to move it away so that actually what you're scoring at is about 15 16 So it's not quite 2.5 centimeters, it's about 2.3. But if you just eyeball it and move it away a little bit and repeat that on all four sides as you go round, your lid is going to fit absolutely fine with no problems whatsoever and the finished dimensions of the box two inches sorry two inches by two inches by four and a half which is five by five by eleven centimeters right so I'm not burnishing yet my score lines because I want to stamp first and I might need to try and if I can I do this without getting the top of my head on camera um, I need to do it where I'm chucking shadow over it because I can't see the lines all that well um, because I've got my bright spotlight, my ring light is on and I really can't see. But let's hit and hope that I can. Right, so that's on my block. I'm using Memento because I'm using blends and I've been getting that wrong for the last couple of weeks. I keep feeling it. it's instinctive to bring out Memento. So I'm making sure that is well inked up. And... Yeah, this is where I need to be careful looking to see. I hope that's all within those score lines. Fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, phew, it was. I can't see the lines because of lighting and everything. But that's inside those four score lines, which is obviously going to be the lid. All right, I want that to dry. I'm just going to clean this up super quickly while I'm here with my stamping scrub and stamping mist off to one side and then I'm going to start putting this box together and what I'm going to do is show you how to do it on the base first to give that ultimate drying time burnish all your sides or all your score lines I should say okay I'm going to cut straight up the rect the re I can't speak straight up the rectangle wedge in the square and just hack a bit off and then the same there don't rotate this one and hack a bit off and that by hacking that bit off it means that you've got plenty of space you're not going to double over your cardstock and then just repeat on the other side What I'm going to do is I'm not going to um, fold that over. I'm not going to hack this one and show you. I, not that it will happen on this particular box, but it could happen. You end up, like I say, it's not going to happen on this box, but if you've got your widths, two widths added together is more than 
this part here more than the length of that you end up with overlapped cardstock but I actually like to trim off anyway so that's the base of the box the lid exactly the same and as I said this is thick whisper white the only thing you don't need to do on this one is is trim on those squares so literally just wedge There we go. And again, I will put the base together first and show you how to do it. So, adhesive in all those parts. And you just bring it round to form the sides. that's the base done and then the same on the lid oh this I forget always forget seal plus doesn't like thick whisper white it's only whisp thick whisper white thick whisper white and black it doesn't like what am I looking for tear and tape and I don't know why I do tell my whisper white and black don't take it personally but you know it doesn't like to play the game so tear and tape Perfect. All right, let's peel off the backing. And then fold round and stick. Oh, no, I needed to colour it first. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and not glue myself. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, let me zoom. Okay, I'm back after my battery went kaput. And you might notice that this is a fresh piece of cardstock. Honesty time here. I carried, you know, I pressed play again, coloured it, filmed it. And where I had accidentally put adhesive down before, I managed to stick it to my desk. And as I lifted it up, I ripped the side and I was like, no. So, fresh bit of card that I've not yet burnished or anything. Oh, and then I forgot to zoom out as well. So, let's zoom in and do this colouring. So, I've got my Magenta Madness dark and light blends. And I'm going to pick two of my flowers and just dollop some dark on. And I'm going to go round them with the light. And then with the dark again in the centre. You have to work much quicker on Thick Whisper White because the blends don't sort of spread in the same way as it does on regular Whisper White. You have to be that little bit faster um, just to sort of catch the, the ink while it's still wet and where you can still move it around. So yeah, be mindful of that. Don't try and work on too many um, flowers all at the same time. Just work on one or two. I'm going to come in with my biggest one on its own. And I'm going to get that pink to blend out. It's the cardstock absorbs much, much faster. So Whisper White is the same weight as our as thick Whisper White cardstock. It's the same weight, regular Whisper White. It's just been compressed super smooth so that you get the beautiful, perfect stamped image and because it's so smooth it means that your blends can you can manipulate them and, and move them around but this is left this hasn't been compressed in the same way which means that you've got to go 
that bit faster. But that's okay. I'm a speedy crafter. You can tell I'm concentrating. I'm not talking. There we go. Oh, just a tiny bit there. So that's my dark and light of the Magenta Madness. And now I'm going to come in with Just Jade. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to work on one half and then the other half. And I'm just putting a little bit of dark at the bottom of each leaf. And then I'm going to build it up with the light. And same as before, you do have to work at speed. Otherwise, you sort of get a line. This is a beautiful stamped image, isn't it? One of the ladies in my team first showcased this at one of our corporate on-stage events, Halsey. So she's from Slim and Stylish. That's her surname. It's a play on words. So Slim and Stylish with two M's. So she showcased this absolutely beautifully. She did loads of projects and it was just like, oh, I need that in my life. And she did blends. She's, she does loads of blends work, so go and check her out. She's here on YouTube. And yeah, she did some blends projects. So with this, I can't not do blends with it because that's how I was first introduced to this stamp set. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And you can see the blends, how they've moved in the middle. Just gorgeous. Right, I'm going to remember to zoom out this time. Dear me. I'd never make a professional YouTuber, would I? <laughs> okay. So, I'm repeating an exercise and step I did earlier, but yeah, sometimes these things happen. And because I inadvertently put the glue on before I should have done, or rather taken the backing off the glue before I should have done, um, when I unpeeled it, one bit was underneath one of the tabs instead of on top. And yeah, and I lifted it up. Having painstakingly coloured everything, <laughs> rip. It was not good. So I thought, that's okay, I can fix it. I can cut it and make it a topper. That didn't work either. Dear me. Right, let's get some tear and tape on. off the backing because I can now all right make sure all that tape is on Okay, lid on my box. Beautiful, isn't that just gorgeous? And then I'm going to come in with a Fobo. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to, this is Magenta Madness as well. Oh, it's my mini glue dots. I'm gonna get one on the end here and lay it down, wrap it all the way around the lid, cut it off and stick another mini glue dot on the end of, on this end as well. And you've seen me before, I cannot tie a bow if it's wrapped around something, but if it's not, I have no issues whatsoever tying a bow. She says, she says that she can't tie a bow. 
Look at that, see? Fabulous bow. I don't have any problems when it's not attached to anything. But stick it on a bag or be using it to tie up a bag? No chance. And then I'm going to grab a couple more mini glue dots. Make sure they're out of sight. Put it over there to cover that. Join. One box made. Beautiful colouring. I love it. I think that's just gorgeous. Errors and all, but it's fabulous. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.